Well, today we have Gunplexer Microwave Associates. Uh, where's the numbers? Wrong side. If you can uh, find any information on it, MA86503, I think it's just a gun plexer, a gun diode. Uh, there's no isolator in this thing that I can see. Just a, another diode on the opposite side of the iris. So I'm not entirely sure. But I did find the signal. And uh, I haven't figured out what frequency it is. I think it's at uh, somewhere around... 10368, I can't quite remember now, but it's kind of tough to hold everything and trigger the, the battery connector here. So let's give this a shot. Whoa! Alright, I turned the gains down and whatnot because I thought maybe the, the widespread of the signal was kind of perplexing to me. And I realized that the IQ of the thing we point it at the, so we point it away, point it at it, the antenna, away, kind of, oops, might help to, remember they got both hands on it. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure. Turn it off. Um, turn some gain up. This is tough. Whoa! I almost dropped it. Using one hand on it. Wireless keyboard. Boy, oh, gutsy, huh? Alright, well. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about that. I'll drop my dog on phone here. Notice there's no music in the background because I don't have the game playing. Looks like I'm. I can't really say what that signal is really, but it's coming from the gun plexer. Point it towards it. Goes, goes right to the antenna. That might be kind of tough on the whole thing. I have to burn up the front end of this. Kind of where, curious where it's. Is it because I'm pointing at the. I really can't tell. I need to get a much longer antenna away towards. Need to get a nice long antenna coax. Of course, I don't know this stuff's not exactly all that great for um, loss, but keep it on the screen while we're floating. This thing's warming up. Let's see if we can't tin it without dropping everything here. Let's change the local oscillator just a little bit. Where's the mouse? Okay, come on. Dun, 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 dun. Make sure I get it in screen too, darn it. Yep, there we go. So we're changing the local oscillator. It's uh so if the gun diode is actually spectrally pure, I just kinda wonder where's the trash from. I expect more of a Unified signal, but I don't know. Might be because I don't have an isolator on it. Maybe I can go move it closer and farther away. And the signal goes up, goes down. I point it away, so not really. I just like I said, I kind of wish before that uh, Lime Suite would uh, have a calibration run for the high input on a H. So, uh, at least try to uh, clean this up some, at least get rid of the image or something, but uh, I'm not sure what the, uh, what is that, AM? We got a center with a little bit of a spiky to it, so that's all that from. You can maybe try adjusting the T uh, without dropping anything. Try not to lose the, oh come on, wireless keyboard. Da, da, da. Okay. Oops. 
Max the TIA. Turn it off. All right, again. Now it's pretty much the same. I don't see much of a change really. Oops, wrong way. So yeah. This don't know what to make of it. At least I don't know what to make of the pattern, the, the dirtiness of the signal. If the gun dial is actually clean like it, I read. Maybe it's not. Maybe this one's been damaged as far as I know. It does really have something to get used equipment. So, uh, when I post my video, I'll uh, work out what frequency this thing has rolled to be tuning on. Kind of floating around. I don't know if that's the lime or the gun. I consider I'm operating off of a nine volt battery that I pulled out of that D104. Kinda hard to say, who knows.